Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. I have exactly an hour and 15 minutes to zip up my suitcase and head on out for a weekend that I have been so looking forward to. I'm gonna go see Lady Gaga's jazz show. We got tickets or James surprised me with tickets like almost a year ago. So we have been waiting for this for a very, very long time. Anyway, long story short, I'm packing, I'm packing, I'm getting ready. I haven't done my makeup, all of that, ah. And then I see that this package was delivered and I have to crack into it. So I was like, turn on the camera, let's film right now. Ignore the fact that there's a fly in the studio and the air conditioning is on because it is ridiculously hot in California. I don't know how this video is gonna go. I needed to at least attempt to try this stuff on because, ow, because it's the Lion King. I don't normally uh, get that excited about these kind of collaborations, to be honest. It's a satisfying noise. Oh my gosh, it does not want to come open. Why? Let me let me play, I want to play. Hey, who out there is excited to be in retrograde yet again? I don't know if you guys believe in that or not. You know, the whole like blame it on retrograde and your life is falling apart, but we're on our way in July, everybody. Strap in tight. Ah, we're in. <laughs> oh my God, I love this. Okay, this is by Luminous, The Art of Beauty. And this says, Dear Tati, we are excited to be able to share with you our limited edition cosmetic collection inspired by Disney's The Lion King in collaboration with famed makeup artist, Sir John. That is Beyonce's makeup artist, I believe, if I did my research correct. Literally says Hakuna Matata, the Luminous team. How cute is that? I am kind of dying over this. Okay, growing up, we didn't have a lot of like a, an expansive VHS collection because yes, I am that old that when I was a child, we watched videotapes. So we had the videotape of The Lion King and me and my sisters would watch that movie over and over and over and over. I know this movie back forth and then some. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about the new Lion King that they have coming out. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Sir John, this looks beautiful. I love lions. The face of a lion represents so much. And I have dreams about lions all of the time. And it's one of my favorite dreams. I actually had the craziest dream uh, after my dog died. His name was Blue. And I had this dream that he was somehow a lion. And it's like we could communicate. And he was this big lion. And he came up to me kind of like cuddling with me a little bit, letting me know it was safe and I didn't need to be afraid and telling me like who he was. And so I literally had this incredible dream of playing and like cuddling with a lion and it felt so real. Have you ever had one of those cool dreams that like for years you will think of and you'll be like, wow, that was just like the coolest experience. It was a dream, but it just felt like it was somehow reality. And I remember like waking up and being like, what was that? Can I fall back asleep right now? <laughs> Cause it was really cool. All right, so the PR box itself, really gorgeous. Wow, wow. My bun is so tight right now, it's like pulling me back into another dimension. Whew. So I wanna show you what we have going really quickly. Ooh, oh, oh my gosh. They have a shade called Nala. They have Simba, Safari Khaki, King, African Clay, The Meadows. I'm in it. I think this is, oh, I love this too, so pretty. There is also a gorgeous contour palette. This is called the Kingdom Six Piece Sculpting Palette. And I love that the tones in here are really not your typical medium with a you know brightening powder and like that's not gonna work for everyone. This is very versatile and I have to say, I can't make a video these days without mentioning Scott Barnes. I know it's a run on joke now, laugh all you want, but I love him and he has taught me so much and I have to give credit where credit is due. And I have to say that his trick of using a contour palette in the brow and as shadow and really using it as this versatile item to sculpt any area that you wanna sculpt or add you know, that kind of rich pigment to. So I can see myself using this on the face and in the brows. What is this, the circle of life highlighter? Yes, please. Ah! All right, wow. I like the imprint on here. This is called circle of life. Definitely not for me but that's okay because it's about dang time that there is a collection that isn't 
just gonna work for lighter skin type. So I am totally a-okay with that. And once again, with powder makeup, whether it's a contour or highlight, like for me, I look at these kind of, you know, tones and I'm like, oh, I know how I would use that. I could use that on the lid. It could be like a really beautiful, shiny portion of an eye look. It doesn't have to be just highlight on the face. The famed makeup master behind this collection, Sir John, is African-American. So of course he would have a good understanding of what is going to be complimentary on deeper skin tones. And I can see that in this collection and I love it. I'm here for it. So let me put on my face makeup. We'll speed it right through and we'll get back and play with some face products and eyeshadow. Okay, so I have most of my face done and I do want to play with a little bit of the contour palette to further fill in my brows and to contour the face, of course. But right now we are gonna switch gears and go straight into the shadow. I'm leaving a little bit of my powder underneath my eyes because I don't know if this is going to be fluffy, powdery. I don't know this formula at all. So we're gonna figure it out together. And in case there's like a little bit of fallout, I wanna have a little coverage underneath the eyes because I do plan on doing maybe a little more depth, playing with a little more color. I do also wanna say that once I land in Vegas, we are gonna be going out for dinner, and I thought maybe it would be cool to do like a day to night type of a thing. So it's not gonna be like full max glam until later, and I'll be sure to film that for you guys. And even though this will be the lighter version, we're protected with the powder. That's just such a great thing to do if you're unsure if you're gonna be experiencing fallout with a shadow. Cause then when you dust it away, you kind of dust away any of the fallout. So I have now prepped my eyes with a little bit of MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And then I am going to use my color switch to color switch. That way my brush is not getting wet. And we are gonna go straight into, I think let's like play it safe right now and do Safari Khaki. And then we'll kind of deepen things up a little bit as well. For just a little lay down of crease action. It's like a very light neutral shade, but it also is very rich. I'm now gonna go into the shade African Clay and grab it on my Scott Barnes 6-1 and kind of tuck it starting over here, like right in the crease and then kind of pulling down and getting that outer edge. I'm sure a lot of you are confused. You're like, that's our daytime look? Like what? I can't help it. Like these colors are very, just like very rich. And I am now gonna take a smaller brush and go into Pride Rock. This is the first one that has a little bit of kickback. And I'm actually gonna almost line the eye with this. Everything is blending so beautifully and these colors, although are your, like I kind I don't wanna say typical, but like when we look at neutrals, it's kind of like, oh, a brown, a beige, and blah. like it feels very like, I've seen that. But these are interesting. They have a nice undertone. Again, they're very rich, very easy to blend and work with, but not overly powdery. The last one I used was probably the most powdery, which is interesting because it's the darkest shade, but it's blending so nice. I really, really like this. Okay, I'm gonna use the shade Nala all over the lid just because it is so beautiful. And I need something shiny, like I'm, ooh, 
I'm creating something shiny and then we're gonna kind of call it a day with the shadow for right now and then play more maybe with the green and deeper chocolate metallic brown tonight. Dang, okay. Someone knows what they're doing with this. Taking a little bit of landscape right on the very, very inner. I'm gonna dust off my bake, do a little face stuff, uh, and we'll be right back with the contour. Taking a Scott Barnes 6.3, I am gonna go into the shade Marula right in the middle here and just kind of slightly graze the side of my nose. I'm gonna go over the lower lash line with this shade as well, just not to add a ton of, of color, but like just a little shadow. All right, this is great too. I'm really loving the quality of these products. I'm gonna put just a tiny little bit in the brow. I'm gonna take the shade Humba and Kasai mixed together. This mascara is the most buildable and it is true that you can totally put this on top of your false lashes to help them blend together more easily. And it wears really, really well where it's water resistant, but it is not like crunch central where you can't remove it. So I really do enjoy this quite a bit. And you can let it dry a little bit and then go in for more, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's take a look at the lip products from this collection. All right, there's a cute little chubby stick that I think might be perfect for right now because it's just like nice and sheer. And this is the shade Hakuna Matata. There is a red shade called Romantic Atmosphere. How freaking adorable is that? So this is a beautiful, beautiful red, nice doe foot applicator here with a hole poked out in the center to grab the perfect amount of product. Then there is a lighter shade that is also a liquid lip called Trouble. This looks like a very pretty nude, maybe. No, I don't think I want a liquid lip on right now, but maybe later tonight, that would be fun. Woo, girl, okay. This is, oh, tempting. I know I'm gonna be eating on the plane though, and like, I have learned when I get too carried away with my makeup, like a red lip, mm, it's bad. I end up getting like lipstick down here, not the cutest look ever. This looks about my speed right now, so I think I'm gonna do these two right now pounce and Hakuna Matata. First, I am gonna go ahead and line my lips with the Sorme Natural Nude. Going with this guy. Doesn't smell like anything. Pretty color. And then go in with a little Hakuna Matata just for a little slip because that lipstick I just put on is very matte. Ooh. All right, you guys, I'm gonna set it and forget it and I will see you all in Vegas and we will discuss everything and try a little bit more. And also I'm so curious how the shadow wears because it's very pretty. I do love it. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, so I made it to Vegas. The eyeshadow is still holding up really strong. I am super impressed. It is crazy hot here in Vegas because hello, it is the desert. So that's to be expected. But my whole face actually is holding up really well. The lipstick is gone because I ate. But I am gonna re-glam and kind of deepen up the eyes. I'm gonna do that, go to dinner. We're gonna do another check-in. But I wanted to show you guys up close a little more just how pretty this shadow is and that it's staying nice and true in tone. It's not creasing. No complaints there. The contour is very intense. So I feel like maybe it's a little bit a little heavy for me, but you know, not a big deal. We're doing good so far. I'll see you guys in a little bit.
Why, hello there. I was just completely lost in Sir John's IG page, which if you guys are not following him, go check him out. His artistry is next level. I am so just fascinated by makeup artists that have this just incredible artistry, emotional type of an approach with makeup. And I love his page. I love his work. I'm just like, oh my gosh, hello. Like I'm seeing so many celebrities, so many beautiful looks. So definitely go give him a follow. And I wanna wrap up with you guys about the Lion King collection. So this became a multi-day makeup review and not a first impressions, but I always think those are better anyway. So here we are, and I wanna quickly go over the lip products as I am wearing one of the brighter shades right now. So the shade that I'm wearing right now is called Lion's Mane, and I do really super love this color. I mean, it makes your teeth look so white. It brightens up the whole face. It leans a little bit coral orange, but I actually really, really love that. I think it's very flattering. It's very appropriate for the summer coming months. So out of the two lipsticks, surprisingly, and this never happens, I like the bright one. Now the more neutral is okay. It's called Pounce. For me, I personally like a more coral bright nude, but that's just me. That doesn't make this a bad lipstick. These are both matte lipsticks and they are incredibly pigmented. I mean, like they're a little bit firm, so it can be kind of tricky to get it on. You're gonna need a mirror. This is not like a quick swipe type of a product, but once it's on, it is comfortable and very, very long wearing, and it doesn't slip and slide around where you have to worry about it getting on your teeth, which I don't think anyone likes. As far as the liquid lips, I like them both. They are a little drying. However, that's kind of the price you pay for a liquid lip in general, so I will say, that's not like, this is the only liquid lip out there that is drying. You know what, they all are. If I wear a liquid lip too many days in a row, I pay for it. I'm kind of just knee deep in the makeup anyway, so I'll show you. So that is just one dip. I did not go back in for more. I'm gonna let it dry down just a little bit and I'm gonna put a little more over it. This is one of those shades that does have the potential to initially look a little bit patchy, but it's very easily remedied with another swipe over. But it's a beautiful color and I know I have that bright orange underneath. It's pretty close to what it actually is, even though it's on top of this guy right here. Really, really beautiful, kind of like garnet berry red. I love it and I love that they have both the orange red and something like this. <gasps> I match my candle in the background like very, very perfectly. Why do I really love that? Not important, the eyeshadow palette, I do really enjoy. I feel like I did have to dip into other shadow palettes as a companion to it. And really the only reason that I felt that I needed to do that was to brighten a few things up because I wanted to wear this palette not just as an evening look, but I tried to play around with it as a daytime palette as well. And while there are a lot of transition colors and great you know, neutral mattes, I did wish that there was maybe one brighter metallic, a more champagne metallic or something like that in there that would kick things up just a little bit to mix in with those deeper jewel tone shades. But again, that's preference. The shadows themselves wore beautifully. They did not crease. The contour palette, I don't know that I'll be reaching for that one myself. I liked using them as eyeshadow, but will I be using it as a contour palette for me? No, but I think the richness of the shades are gorgeous and necessary. And again, the highlighter that's in the collection and the contour palette in the collection I feel are beautiful for medium to deeper skin tones. And I'm here for that. I think it's a great product. I like it. I think the highlighter is gorgeous. I'm just the color of toilet paper, so it does not look good on me. I think that, you know, as a whole, this collection provides something for everyone that you can get excited about. And on top of it all, I am completely obsessed with Sir John. So thank you so much for doing this collaboration and giving us something really fun and elegant to play with as far as a themed collaboration. I'm here for it, I like it, go check it out you guys. I will leave you the info in the description box below. This was not sponsored, but the products were sent to me, so keep that in mind. All right, I love you guys so much. I hope you're doing awesome. Be sure to subscribe if you have not yet done that. Thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it. Ring the bell so that you are notified of my upcoming videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.